Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the Steyr C9A1. I took it to the range, had a great time with it. Now I have been reviewing some of the nicest handguns out there lately. And, and that path of successful pistols continues with the Steyr. I have zero experience with Steyr handguns until this. And I have seen them at my local gun store. I felt them. I said, you know, these feel really nice. And I've, I've pulled the trigger. And, you know, if you wait 24 hours, you see one and then you decide you're going to wait, you know, make sure that it's what you want. You may go home and research. You go back the next day. It's gone. Okay. They do not last long. And they are not plentiful. It's not like you could just show up and a styre is going to be there. So, if you see one and you're interested, I would pick it up or at least put it on layaway because they do go fast. So I took this to the range and I enjoyed it very much. One of the things I, I liked was the mag capacity. Okay, 15 round sight hole, but does have that plus two base plate. I could get 16 in there, no problem. And a compact size gun. Immediately from taking it out of the case, it feels really nice, very well balanced, and the trigger is five and a quarter pounds. And so here's here's what you're looking at with the reset. Not very audible, but I tell you what, when, when you're shooting at the range and you've got your earplugs in and you're hearing the shot with each one, it, it doesn't really matter how audible it is. I mean, you can't hear it anyways. But some people like that, and I get it, and it, it's kind of cool to show that. But it, it made no difference, in my opinion. One of the criticisms that people say is that the Steyrs historically have been known to have ejection issues. I did not find that to be true. Now, I will say it ejected every single casing for 150 shots or, you know, or so. And the ejections, you know, it ejected typically out this way couple hit my arm none came back and hit my face a couple even went to the other side but it, it was not an issue it did not have a fire ejection but it fed fired and ejected every round that i shot another thing that people said is that the trapezoidal front sight okay basically it's a triangle but you know it's called a trapezoid sight and the slanted lines in the back people said it took a little while to get used to i found it natural immediately you know I, I lined it i lined it up on my my 10 inch target from about 12 yards away no problem and i think one of the reasons is because i dry fired it so much you know from the minute i got this gun i was very much impressed i i wanted to you know continually point at various objects on the wall and dry fire it so i so i had a good feeling for it and i think that helped because when i got to the range it was dead on I mean, easily dead on. Even when I shot one-handed, it was dead on. I really enjoyed the gun. I, I truly did. It's a little bit different in the way that it looks. And, the, you know, you can see a nice thick trigger there. But at five and a quarter pounds, the quick shooting was nice. The accuracy was nice. And the reliability was nice. I mean, isn't that what we want from a pistol anyways? So let's go ahead and run some range footage. Be right back and see what you think. So now you can see why I speak highly of the Steyr C9. It lived up to all the expectations, the high expectations that I had for it. I was really looking forward to it. A lot of Steyr fans out there, a lot of people say that they are outstanding. Now I can confidently say that this really is a nice pistol. I have to put some more rounds through it, no question about it. But so far, my impressions are very positive. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. And you guys be safe.